What's up, my name is Techno, but here for Troubleshoot and welcome back to another video. In this relatively quick video, I'll be showing you something that you can do on GitHub, though it's not necessarily the best thing you can do. I'll get into that a bit later. Basically, I'll be showing you how to delete commits from a GitHub page and not have them show up anymore. I'll give you an example. Last night, I went ahead and did some work on my Techno Account Switcher program, and I was experimenting with one of the GitHub workflows for security, and it ended up creating a whole bunch of commits that I didn't really want there. So what did I do? Well, I was able to delete them. Though Now I know that wasn't exactly the best idea, but again, I'll get into that a bit later. I'll be showing you how to delete these commits, and then I'll get into explaining why it might not be the best thing for your project. So without further ado, I'll be working on this project over here that's quite out of date, two years old, and it's only got 11 commits as of now. All you have to do in order to remove all the commits is to simply download it and open it up on your computer with the git bash installed. I'll be using GitHub Desktop as it's just a nice simple way of managing these projects. So I've got the repository open here. I'll go ahead and open up the folder on my computer and I'll be creating another file in here such as test.txt where I'll write something inside of it, save it, close it, and I'll go ahead and commit this to master as such, push origin, and now you should see a new commit on GitHub. So I'll refresh and we now have 12 commits. And if we were to go ahead and try to delete this file, say I included something sensitive in it, I can revert changes, but that really just creates another commit, taking it up to 13 in total. And of course, people are able to see what you changed in previous commits. So if I reopen the web page, refresh, you can see it, both of them over here, the create and the remove, and of course they show you exactly what you'd expect. So how exactly do we remove these commits from this history over here? Well, it's pretty simple. All you need to do is, as I mentioned, have git bash installed and navigate across to the directory of your repository. Inside of here, right click, and then click git bash here to open up a new window like such. All that we'll be doing in here is running two simple commands. One of them to remove these latest commits and another one to push it to master. So I'll go ahead and type in git reset hyphen hyphen soft space head all capitals tilde a little squiggly button right below escape and then the number of commits that I'd like to undo in my case two. I'll be undoing the create and the reverse commit here. All we have to do is hit enter and it'll go ahead and remove them from the local repository. Having a look inside of GitHub desktop, you can see they're removed here and I'm two behind master so I can go ahead and pull it and of course get those changes back on my computer. But that's not what I want to do. What I want to do is in fact push the version that I have here to GitHub and overwrite the existing one there. To do that, all we have to do is type in git push origin space plus followed by the name of the branch, in my case is master space hyphen hyphen force to push it, even though it's technically out of date. After doing so, it'll take some seconds to run and when it's done, if we tab back into GitHub desktop, you'll see there's no more commits that I can pull from the origin. And that's basically it. If I go ahead and have a look at it on GitHub, refresh, you'll see a change as such, and they're no longer showing on the commit history. Well, now to get into the downsides of doing this. If we go ahead and check the previous commits here, which we opened up in other tabs, you can see that it currently does not belong to any branch on this repository and may belong to a fork outside of the repository. Anyway, my point is you can still access it on GitHub officially as long as you had the exact same link to it, even though it's not really written on the GitHub project page anymore. As long as you have a link to it, it'll still be there. The only way to truly delete commits is to simply create a brand new repository and delete the old repository completely. That's the only way to really get rid of them. And that can be a huge pain, especially if you make a sensitive commit that you didn't mean to, and someone might have the link somewhere. There's thousands of stars, hundreds of forks. That's not exactly the best thing to have to deal with. The whole point of GitHub and having everything open and public is that when you make a mistake, you can publicly undo the mistake. People understand what you did wrong and that's basically it. It's all out in the public with a complete history. The second reason that you may not want to do this is because if people are following your repository, their local repositories go out of sync. And of course, pulling changes from there could cause something else to happen. It could undo work that they have done or make life a real pain for them if they're trying to push new commits to it. If you accidentally put a password into a commit or something like that, all you really need to do is change the password and undo the commit on GitHub. 
That way, people know that you've had a password there for something and you simply mistyped it or maybe something else sensitive and you've undone it. Though not exactly everything you can do can be simply changed, such as including something else really sensitive by accident. So hopefully it wasn't too much of a mistake and you were able to revert the commit and simply override everything once again. Otherwise, good luck. My name has been Technobe here for Troubleshoot. You'll find all of those commands, one well, those two, down in the description below. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao!